right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Juicy A. Formiga. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter, those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Formiga is six years his senior. Choi is five inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Juscelia Formiga! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lands a big right hand early. Checks the leg kick. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. And both guys really flowing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Now connects with the right. Real nice body kick land. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Formiga. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Whiffs on the elbow. Oh, that's a big hook oh. to the chin. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And just misses with that big right hand. Formiga gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice sneaky head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Under two minutes to go. Back to the feet now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Big knee land right through the opponent's midsection. Beautiful punch. All right, so a good shot by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Formiga getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Nice kick. Tie. <laughs> Stuff the takedown, no problem. Huge block there. And there comes the separation now. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch from the clinch. A oh, nice combination there by Short. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to establish that jab. Oh, God. All right, sit down, buddy. Take a deep breath, Jeff. All right, give him some water. Drink. Slip. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. Ready, fight. Ready. Ready. Second round here. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Single collar tie now. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really... Oh! Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh! Formiga gets up, but the question is... Oh! Man! Choice has got full mount now. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Choi's got his back again. Formiga's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Both fighters get up now. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. That's a big strike right there. Big head kick lands. How about that chin? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Body kick now by an ever improving juicy A for me. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Nice body shot. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by an ever-improving juicy A for me. Throws the right hand there. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 15 seconds. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown.
Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down Whoa! tonight. Whoa! He's out! was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.